Avery. Yeah. Will you just say and spell your name for us? J J A Y Breeden B R E E D E N. And your title? I'm the county fire marshal here in Sevier County. Um. So, if, talk to us about what 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 do we have happening here? Um, approximately 4:30 a.m. this morning, a port uh, of structure fire came in with uh, people possibly trapped inside the structure that couldn't get out. Um, fire department arrived. The home was. Um, about 75 percent involved when they arrived all the occupants um, that they, they found several occupants outside of the home um, several were injured with minor abrasions uh, some had some broken bones um, they were transported to uh, uh, Lecomte Medical Center our local medical center where they received treatment do you know um, how many people total were um, involved the total number right now that we're we're still in the early stages, okay, of of uh, you know talking to everybody. They were all from out of state, um, but roughly at this point uh, we're mid twenties, uh, twenty two to twenty four people. Uh -huh. You have an age range? The age range is anywhere from uh, four to five years old up to you know fifties or sixties. And then what state? You said they were from out of state. Yes, they were all from Indiana. In, you mentioned the injuries. Um, any fatalities? Yes, there has been. Uh, one gentleman was transported to Lecomte Medical Center where he was pronounced deceased. Did he die from the fire or from escaping the where, fire? It, it does appear at this point that he uh, did. Uh, uh, he, he did pass away um, after the fire. Okay. And was there uh, a child that was? in the home that didn't get out? There is one person that's unaccounted for at this time, yes. Um, and from what you know, is that is that a child? We're, we're, the family um, has indicated that there is a smaller child that, that is uh, unaccounted for at this time. Um, what time did the call come in, Jay? Uh, 4.30, roughly 4.30 a.m. is when the fire, the fire, the first 911 calls started coming in. Do you know, um, how, how quickly a response was here? Um, <clears throat> Sheriff's Office deputies were here in a matter, matter of minutes, just a couple of few minutes. Mm -hmm. Fire department was shortly after. I would say they were on the scene within five or six minutes. Which which departments responded? The initial response um, was Sevier County Fire, um, Northview Fire, and Walden's Creek Fire. Um, very quickly though, the city of Sevierville was requested since their stations are so close mm -hmm. and they got here really quick and, and helped us out with the, with the response. Um, we had heard that uh, there were some vehicles involved. That there was. Maybe... There was three vehicles that were destroyed in the fire. Yes, they were all rental vehicles that the family had rented, but they were all three destroyed by the fire. Did that... Uh the impact of those vehicles catching fire did that speed the process of the uh, the structure going not down not really they were they were you know probably 10 15 foot away so mm -hmm. it was already structure was already um, had heavy fire before the vehicles actually started burning is there any uh, any preliminary thought of, of arson or are you guys no, looking we, at that not at this point no we we like i said we're very early but there's nothing at this point that indicates that it that it is. I mean, we obviously have a lot of investigation to do, mm -hmm. but at this point in the investigation, there's nothing that points to that. No. Is there any indication of where it might have originated? No, not, not yet. No. Okay. Will you describe for me the, um, the structure? What, what does the stru structure look like? It's a three-story log cabin um, uh, structure, heavy timber. Um, you know, it had a total of seven bedrooms. Uh, so that's, that's about, I mean, you know, all these cabins, uh, especially on the upper side, they kind of kind of look the same. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of them do, but uh, it's a three-story structure. Okay. Any um, other structure uh, damage? Or the one directly next door did receive some a little bit of heat damage, uh, but nothing real intense. Now, any idea how the um, those were able to escape? How did they get out? Because we were hearing that they were, like had to jump from... There, uh, there was several people that did um, exit the home by going over a balcony. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Local and state officials are doing the investigation.
Okay, so state, state, yeah, state people Yeah, state bombing here. arson and the civilian and the sheriff's office fire investigation people. Okay. Um, how many, if you had to ask me, how many men are, are working this fire? Right now? Or just total? Uh, well, I mean, as far as response, um, I would say there was probably 45 firemen from nine different agencies. Mm -hmm. um, the actual investigation part, there is nine total of us. Okay. All right, Jason.